What is going on, guys and girls? My name is James Lothexi, and welcome back today to Roblox. How are we doing, everyone? Welcome back. Welcome back. Today, of course, it is time once again for some brand new Bee Swarm Simulator, and we find ourselves in the test realm because there's a few cool things that I want to show you guys. Um, yeah, so how have you all been doing? I hope you guys have been good. Three, two, one, claim the hive. Oh, geez. Okay. So yeah, today's gonna be kind of like a mixture of a few different bits and pieces. So I've got a couple of things to show you inside the map. And as well as that, I do once again have like a few screenshots and stuff uh, that you guys have been finding and you've been sending me. So thank you so much to everyone who's done that. And yeah, I kind of wanna just show you a few different bits and pieces. So shall we get started? I think so. So the cool thing about uh, this test realm is that, as I kind of mentioned, it can go pretty much up or down or it could be reset at any given time. However, uh, what is kind of awesome is that Honor is adding and changing and just testing, which is kind of the whole point, I guess. And yeah, there's been a few new things added. Uh, so yeah, the most obvious one right now is this. <laughs> so this is uh, a coconut. Now, this is one of the new items uh, which is going to be in the game. And it kind of, you know, is all to do with the new field. You've got the coconut field. Uh, we saw the coconut crab in one of our most recent episodes. And in order to actually test out the feature, he's just whacked a coconut right here in the very first zone for everyone to collect. Um, so, yeah, let's grab it. Boom! Look at this! Oh, my goodness! Do you see it? It says you found 50 coconuts. And then it also said... As a little prompt, please test that these always make honey tokens when they hit you. Oh my goodness me. So yeah, there is a functionality to this coconut and it drops a huge coconut into the field. Catch it to convert pollen to honey tokens. That sounds amazing. I want to try it. I've not tried it yet. Oh yeah. So yeah, people keep pointing out and you're 100% right. You can actually now use the hotbar to actually uh, put some items in. So I haven't actually done this yet, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, you can actually have like your micro converters and you can have your buffs. So you can have like your, you know, your glues and your oils and stuff into the hotbar. And it's just going to make using them a little bit easier. So let's stick our coconuts into slot number one. Uh, and I kind of want to mess about with these a bit. I want to see what they do. I'm really excited. So, do I have just, like, any random quest that I can do? Uh, yeah, okay, so we're kind of, we're only actually currently ourselves up to, like, 15 bees. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we've got, like, loads of just random quests and bits and pieces. I'm not too fussed about, like, bashing out every single zone. I kind of would more sort of jump in and try and find the other features, uh, you know, slowly but surely. Um, but I guess what we could do is let's try this in the strawberry field. Why not? Okay, so here goes nothing. I'm going to try and zoom out as far as I can so we can kind of see this coconut in action. And, uh, yeah, are we ready? Are we ready? Three, two, one. What happens? Oh, it's there! Oh! <laughs> Did you see it fall? Wait, how does it work? Hang on, let's try this again. So it does have a bit of a cooldown. It picks an area inside the field here. And if I run underneath it... Huh. Hang on, let's see if we can get, like, a close-up from, like, the sky. Can we do that? How are we going to do that? Um, let's do it like this. Do we see it in the sky? No, we don't see it in the sky. Ah, so it kind of drops slightly above, I guess. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> what a strange item. I love it. So it picks an area in the field. If we can get there quick enough, bang, it breaks over us. But we didn't get any honey tokens. Oh, actually, my hive was full, wasn't it? So that was the last few times I didn't actually get any honey tokens, but the hive was full. So maybe just maybe just maybe that was because of it. Can we feed it to bees? We can't. Oh, you must be standing in a field to use a coconut. Okay, so you can't actually feed it to bees. Oh, wait, I can make all of my bees red. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, why is that a thing? Huh. There we go. I wonder if other people can see that. That's so strange, isn't it? Look at that. I feel like that's probably going to change. All right, let's try this again. So let's drop a coconut in the field. Let's stand underneath it. Boom. Whoa, that's way better. Hey, okay. I wonder why I didn't do that in the strawberry field. Let me test that again. Ah, okay. So I feel like that's how it's supposed to work. Wait, why didn't it do that when I was in the strawberry field? Was my backpack full? 
Ah, okay, so this is actually quite useful information. So let's go and try this again in the strawberry field. Let's go and stand underneath it. Yeah, it only gives me two. I wonder why. Let's go and try it in the spider field. It gives me none. <laughs> so what's the difference between the dandelion field and these fields? Let's try it in uh, a couple more just to kind of test this out a bit. So if we drop one here. Oh, I'm not going to get there in time. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Wait, do I need to be standing like directly underneath it? Is that what the key is here? Let's go and try this again. So obviously the bigger the field, you don't really know where they're going to drop, do you? But let's go right in the middle. No, and it didn't give me anything. Huh. Very interesting. Okay, so let's go back into the uh, dandelion field. Let's go and drop one again. Stand underneath it. Huh. First few times it gave me loads. Next few times it didn't. I'm so confused. Okay, now, just before we kind of plop around the map, uh, there's another location that I want to go and check out in just a second, but I have to show you these couple of screenshots. Um, so the first one is to do with the aphids. Um, so I do actually have a little bit more information about the aphids from on it himself, which I'll show you guys in just a second. But uh, my dude over here, lol guy, he's a guy, he loves to lol. Um, look at this. He found an armored aphid, level two, in the map. So this is really cool. We've been trying to work out the aphids and kind of see how many different varieties there are. Now, we saw a rage aphid, well, a picture of a rage aphid uh, in last episode. We've only actually ever found one of the green ones, but so far we know now that there's a regular green aphid, we know that there's a diamond aphid, we know that there is a rage aphid, and now we have also seen an armored aphid. <laughs> <laughs> which has just been added to the aphid collection um so yeah thank you so much for for finding this this one is just once again not what i expected every single time like i think it's one thing then a brand new one comes up and it just surprises me um so yeah now we also have different colored aphids we have different tiered aphids we have aphids based off bees and now we also have unique aphids and yeah this one is an armored aphid oh man and oh geez check this out so zach over here <laughs> <laughs> he says he has bad internet, which might mean that his, his thing might have lagged out a bit, and uh, he managed to actually get inside one of the brand new shops. This one is the Petal Shop, and yeah, this is going to be one of the new locations for where you can buy some new items. So, this one is kind of cool. I, I, I feel like this is probably up there in the 35B zone. Maybe it's one of those tunnels that we can't quite get into because we get teleported out. Um, but look at this. I'm going to zoom in for you guys. Hopefully, I might have done that already. Um, but you can see there that there is a big petal at the end, which is kind of like where the shop is. And to the left and to the right, you can see two of the brand new items. So, we've known about these from quite some time. The one on the left is the petal collector, and the one on the right is the petal belt. So these are two brand new items, a new collector and a new belt. I'm not too sure if the petal collector is going to be the best one because I know that there's this crazy big hammer at some point as well. Um, but yeah, I think the petal belt is going to be the best belt for the new update. It looks really cool. Okay, so yeah, next new location for just something random that got added, I think, yesterday. If you go up to where the science bear is, uh, he's actually added a cloud vial, which just randomly spawns in. So when you grab it, you actually gain yourself 10 cloud vials, which uh, is a brand new item. So we can actually use these. They also have a functionality. And it says here, summons a cloud in the field you're standing in, and it lasts for 10. Sorry, for three minutes? Wow, okay. Summons a cloud in a field you're standing in lasts for three minutes. I wonder if this gives us a chance of the windy bee spawning. <gasps> I mean, we kind of have to test that, right? Oh, geez, screen recording software, don't do me like that, dude. <laughs> so yeah, like you may have seen me a couple of seconds ago and you may have listened to me and we may have done the video, but 
This is now a few hours later, so I was just editing the video, and once again, the old OBS has betrayed me. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if you guys saw it. So recently on the channel, we did a Crazy Craft revisit. So this was a series that I did with Dan and Justin, like over three years ago. So Dan TDM and Think Noodles, uh, one of my favorite like Minecraft series I have ever done on the channel. And we did like this crazy cool revisit. Um, so yeah, that actual revisit. Oh, dude, look at this skeleton. <laughs> Hello, sausage. Um, yeah, so like this revisit we all recorded together and like when I recorded it, it went super duper funny. So the video on my channel, uh, which was from like a day or two ago, that was kind of like a solo revisit where I showed you some of the things that we didn't actually see in that original video. But the same thing happened on the second half of that Roblox video. Uh, and that was so annoying. But yeah, basically what I'll do is I thought I would jump back in and actually tell you guys what we did. Um, so yeah, check this out. This is the Cloud Vial in action. And oh my goodness me, this is so cool. So yeah, I'm going to go to the, um, the Sunflower Field to check this out. So this is the Cloud Vial now. This is a really, really cool item. So we've got it key bound to like number two. So if we click it, ready? Three, two, one, boom. Look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, what this does, basically, my dude over here is dropping coconuts, which is very, very cool. Um, but yeah, it actually spawns this cloud in the field, and it's raining. Oh, <gasps> I mean, it rains a lot in England. I mean, an awful lot. You should guys try it. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's magical. <laughs> but yeah, so basically, it, uh, it rains, like, on the field. And what it does is, if you actually have a look in my top bar here, uh, there is a cloud boost which lasts for five seconds. Now, the cloud itself stays in the field for about three minutes. However, in order to actually keep your buff, you basically have to follow the cloud around the field and it constantly tops up the five second boost. So what happens is if I actually leave the cloud, the boost ticks down until zero seconds and then it disappears. And then I actually have to physically go underneath the cloud and get the rain in order to boost it up to five seconds again. And when I'm doing that, it actually gives me a 25% pollen boost from the field that I'm using the cloud. So this is really, really cool. And I feel like this buff is going to be amazing when you're actually, you know, combining your field boosters, maybe with your glitter. And then maybe we've got like a code or something, which will give like, you know, a nice field stack or something like that. I feel like this cloud vial is going to be super duper useful for just simply gaining extra honey. And I actually really like it. It works super duper well. It just goes around the field. <laughs> I love the fact it's raining. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it does its thing. Really, really cool. Look at that sunflower seed. Nice. So yeah, this bad boy is going to last for about three minutes inside the field. So the only thing is that if you're doing like a 10 minute field booster, you're going to have to basically use three of these in order to actually gain the most. However, I feel like this is only really an item you're going to want to use if you've got like a really nice field stack or something. Uh, and like, I'm still a super huge fan of the gummy mask. So this is kind of something that I could see myself using with like a gummy mask. Obviously, this isn't like my main character. This is started from scratch, but I've got a bunch of the marshmallow bees left over, uh, which I feel like, oh, oh, look, the cloud actually harvests for us. What? Do you guys see that? My pollen isn't going up. My honey isn't going up. But that cloud has literally harvested the sprout for us. No way. Dude. <laughs> okay, I, we literally found that out by complete accident. But turns out that if you spawn a cloud vial inside a field, it will actually harvest the sprout for you and pop it. No way. Are you kidding? It didn't give us extra pollen. It didn't give us extra honey. But it did work down the sprout to make it go quicker. So this is really, really cool. I've We've literally just discovered this. So if you actually find yourself in a field and maybe it spawned like an epic sprout or a legendary sprout and you're kind of struggling to take that down by yourself, maybe there's no one else in the server who's like, you know, high level enough to help you. You could actually pop down a cloud vial and you could let the cloud help you harvest the sprout. Now, obviously, that was only a green sprout. But having said that, that was actually pretty quick. That did that really quick, relatively speaking. Oh, my goodness. Dude, that was so cool. 
Okay, so I've only got one more thing to show you guys in this video, and this is just a few messages here from Onnit about the next update and all that kind of stuff. So the first one I kind of wanted to share just because I kind of feel like it's interesting when you're a player of the game like myself uh, and then it's kind of like a different world between what you're like as the player and what you're like as the developer. And this is why I've always said like I've always tried to troll on a little bit, you know, because he always trolls me. <laughs> 100% every single episode there's always something that on it does which just trolls me but I like to give him a little bit back but at the same time I've always tried to like show a bit of sympathy towards a developer of a game like this especially such a hugely popular update um, because you know there's there's a lot of things to take into consideration when you're developing a game and uh, yeah basically on it here he says I'm afraid of deteriorating the overall game by making lots of small changes part of why updates have taken longer and longer is the game has already been established and there's lots more to consider when uh, balancing slash making new content in line with the old content. So this is like 100% true. You know, the game is already amazing and it has been for so long. And, you know, the one thing like on the one hand, we've not really had like a proper huge content update until like, I don't know, I want to say December. <laughs> Bearing in mind it's September now. Although having said that, we did actually have like an Easter update, which was pretty cool to be fair. Um, but I myself, I love new content. You know, I want to jump in. I want to explore the content. I want to show it for you guys. I want to try and unlock everything. I want to show you what it's like, what it does. But at the same time, I kind of understand how when you are like the developer of this game, you want it to be perfect, you know, and you want it to be as good as you can possibly get it to be. Um, so, you know, it has taken a while, but I've always said that it's always worth the wait. And whenever this update officially comes out with everyone's main characters, it's going to be amazing. I'm super excited. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just looking forward to it. Um, but yeah, just another quick little point here as well. He also does says that aphids are supposed to have loot and he hasn't finished balancing that yet. So it's currently disabled. So this is kind of interesting. We've seen like so far four different types of aphid aphids. We've seen the green aphid. We've seen the diamond. We've seen the rage and we've seen the armored. So four already. Who knows if there's going to be more? There probably is going to be. I would love it if there was more types, just so many different types of aphid. And I would love it if each one of those aphids dropped something different. I feel like that would just be such a cool little feature um, and it just makes it exciting. Like I want to do aphid hunting. <laughs> I want to go around the fields. I want to like tap all the leaves. I want to just find as many aphids as possible. Maybe there's like a reward. Maybe like find all 10 types of aphids. Maybe it's a badge, something like that. That would be so cool. And then the final piece that he says is that he says, after this update is out, I'll have more frequent updates for the rest of the year because I have lots of projects already in the works slash update concepts I can go back to and finish. So basically what this means is that Onnit does have way more stuff planned for the future and it's more than just an idea in his head. Um, now obviously I would take this with a pinch of salt, like things that are in your head and actually programming into a Roblox game are very different things, but this is really really good news because he does have a future for Bee Swarm after this next update and I for one I'm very excited about that. I can't wait. I just, I'm just so keen to get jumped in. Oh man, on it, on it. Come on, dude. <laughs> We're so keen. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, I think that's probably going to be about it for today's video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. We saw like a few cool new things, a few new features. We even discovered something that I've never seen before. And it's the cloud vial can actually harvest sprouts. Um, and yeah, that's kind of nifty. But anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Roblox done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rantia!